feel really lucky to have found CyberKnife. It's changing the way we view cancer, control of cancer, and how we treat cancers of both the brain and the body. I think the CyberKnife is a major advance in, in the treatment of prostate cancer. They took me from nothing and gave me my life back. The CyberKnife robotic radiosurgery system is a non-invasive alternative to surgery for the treatment of both cancerous and non-cancerous tumors anywhere in the body, including the head, spine, lung, prostate, liver, and pancreas. The treatment, which delivers beams of high-dose radiation to tumors with extreme accuracy, offers new hope to patients worldwide. What is the CyberKnife system? Though its name may conjure images of scalpels and surgery, the CyberKnife treatment involves no cutting. In fact, the CyberKnife system is the world's first and only robotic radiosurgery system designed to treat tumors throughout the body non-invasively. It provides a pain-free, non-surgical option for patients who have inoperable or surgically complex tumors or who may be looking for an alternative to surgery. CyberKnife gave me my life back. I didn't have to be operated on. It was completely non-invasive. It didn't hurt. I didn't get sick. I got to live every day like it was the same day, and it was absolutely a fantastic experience. The uh, CyberKnife has uh, revolutionized our ability to treat uh, cancer patients. Uh, previously, radiosurgery was restricted to uh, treating tumors within the head, but the majority of tumors uh, that occur in patients occur outside the head. By going to a frameless platform such as the CyberKnife, we now can significantly expand our ability to treat tumors throughout the body. How does it work? The CyberKnife system uses advanced software and imaging techniques to track the tumor location as it moves with natural body motion, such as breathing and digestion. It then detects the tumor's position and proceeds to treat the tumor, minimizing harm to the surrounding healthy tissue. Using a robotic arm, the CyberKnife system is able to move around a patient's body, firing hundreds of radiation beams from virtually any angle to reach tumors anywhere in the body. These beams intersect at points within the tumor, exposing it to a high dose of radiation, while tissue and organs in the path of an individual beam receive very little radiation. How does the CyberKnife differ from radiation therapy? Unlike conventional radiation therapy, which delivers low-dose radiation in 30 to 45 treatments, CyberKnife radiosurgery delivers high-dose radiation in one to five treatments, vastly reducing treatment time and allowing minimal interruptions to the patient's daily life. After um, CyberKnife treatment, I was able to get back to my normal activities and my lifestyle, you know, almost immediately. The CyberKnife system can be used as an alternative to surgery, unlike radiation therapy, which is often used in conjunction with surgery. This differentiator is especially important for patients who are inoperable or have surgically complex tumors, offering patients a treatment option where there previously was none. Overall, the CyberKnife system um, made the biggest impression on me early on with regards to uh, being able to offer treatments to some patients who haven't had any other options. Uh, they uh, didn't have either a surgical option or a radiation therapy option or chemotherapy. Um, and this allowed us now to offer them something that wasn't uh, available before, that wasn't uh, only effective but was safe. The CyberKnife was the best choice for me because it allowed me to um, treat my tumor non-invasively. I wouldn't have to go through a recovery from a brain surgery um, and possibly, you know, all that goes along with that, you know, physical therapy, um, dealing with hearing loss, um, not really knowing what the long-term outcome would be as far as, you know, the things that could disable me. What makes the CyberKnife system unique? The CyberKnife system is a one-of-a-kind device for several reasons. First, the CyberKnife system uses image guidance software to track and continually adjust treatment for any patient or tumor movement. This sets it far ahead of other similar treatments. It allows patients to breathe normally and relax comfortably during treatment. 
Second, some forms of radiosurgery require rigid head frames that are screwed into the patient's skull to minimize any movement. The CyberKnife system does not require such extreme procedures to keep patients in place and instead relies on sophisticated tracking software, allowing for a much more comfortable and non-invasive treatment. Third, unlike some radiosurgery systems, which can only treat tumors in the head, the CyberKnife system has unlimited reach to treat a broad range of tumors throughout the body, including the head, spine, liver, prostate, and lungs. And finally, the CyberKnife system's treatment accuracy is unrivaled. Its ability to treat tumors with pinpoint accuracy is unmatched by other radiation therapy and radiosurgery systems. The CyberKnife system can essentially paint the tumor with radiation, allowing it to precisely deliver treatment to the tumor alone, sparing surrounding healthy tissue. A lung tumor it moves constantly with respiration. Uh, conventional radiation, you'd have to radiate the whole area where the tumor might be in any phase of respiration, whereas a CyberKnife, the radiation device actually tracks the tumor and allows us to give a very focused dose of radiation to the tumor, not the surrounding normal lung. What happens during a CyberKnife treatment? CyberKnife treatments involve a team approach in which several specialists participate. Prior to the procedure, the patient is imaged using a high-resolution CT scan to determine the size, shape, and location of the tumor. Following scanning, the image data is digitally transferred to the CyberKnife System's workstation, where treatment planning begins. A qualified clinician then uses the CyberKnife software to generate a treatment plan. The plan is used to match the desired radiation dose to the identified tumor location, while limiting radiation exposure to the surrounding healthy tissue. Once the treatment plan has been developed, the patient is ready to undergo the CyberKnife procedure. After arriving at the CyberKnife Center, patients are comfortably positioned on the treatment table. Then the CyberKnife System's computer-controlled robot will slowly move around the patient to the various locations from which it will deliver radiation to the tumor. Each treatment session will last between 30 and 90 minutes, depending on the type of tumor being treated. If treatment is being delivered in stages, patients will need to return for additional treatments over several days, typically no more than five, as determined by the patient's doctor. Patients may experience some minimal side effects, but those often go away within the first week or two after treatment. I was diagnosed with cancer of the prostate just a year ago, and my reaction was one of absolute uh, disbelief. Once I started treatment with the CyberKnife, I had to be in a room for just about an hour, perhaps a little less, for five days in a row. And after the treatment with the CyberKnife was finished, I rested for no more than a day and then would resume my normal activities. Now it's about eight or nine months since my treatment. I have no symptoms. I'm doing my full activities. I'm very active in sports and uh, I have no complications. I couldn't be happier with the results of my treatment. What happens when a CyberKnife treatment is completed? After completing CyberKnife treatments, patients should schedule and attend any follow-up appointments recommended by their doctors. It is important to note that tumors will not suddenly disappear. Response to treatment varies from patient to patient. Clinical experience thus far has shown most patients respond very well to CyberKnife treatments. Patients' doctors will monitor the outcome in the months and years following your treatment, often using CT, PET-CT, or MRI scans. At that point, when I climbed off that table after the third CyberKnife treatment, I was in charge of the cancer. The cancer wasn't in charge of me, and that's how it's been for two years, and it's a good feeling. That freedom is priceless.